Georgian mythology refers to the mythology of pre-Christian Georgians. Like many another rich and ancient body of myth, that of the Georgians has been colored by the belief systems of the many cultures with which it has come into contact over the millennia. The bedrock upon which it is founded is, by definition, the indigenous mythology of the Kartvelian peoples themselves, whose first emergence from the darkness of prehistory is believed by many scholars to occur with the founding of the kingdoms of Diaehi, Colchis and Iberia. This said, the consensus of scholarly opinion is that the Proto-Kartvelians possibly to be identified with the Mushki originated in ancient Anatolia, where their religious ideas would have come into contact with those of the Hashans, the Hittite Empire, the Hurrians and Urartu. Later influences include the mythologies of the ancient Greeks, the Vinic peoples and Iranians, the last named comprising both the belief systems of the northern Iranian nomad Scythians and Sarmatians still preserved to some extent in the mythology of their descendants the Ossetians and that of the Zoroastrian religion of the ancient Persian Empire, which has left such an enduring legacy among the nations of the Caucasus. See also Iranian religions Georgian myths and legends are preserved mainly as popular tales. Many of them have eventually fused with Christian legends after the Christianization of Georgia 17 centuries ago. The evangelizing of Georgia was, however, far from uniform. While the lowland populations embraced Christianity in the 5th century, the highlanders of the mountain valleys in the Greater Caucasus Range were converted only 10 centuries later, and in a superficial way at that. It follows from this that accounts of pagan practices in the lowland Christian kingdom are poorly preserved in fragmentary form through brief passages in national chronicles and literary classics. Survivals of pagan beliefs and practices in the Georgian plains are thus, understandably, heavily influenced by Christianity, lacking in mythological unity and essentially folkloric. By contrast, the Mountain Georgians, on the other hand, preserved a rich and well-organized pagan religious system to the beginning of the 20th century, with differentiated cults that continued to be productive thanks largely to the persistence of a priestly class with an orally transmitted body of knowledge. <laughs> Kevsor, P. Shav creation myth N. E. Georgia in the beginning there existed only Morij Gamerti and his sister. She made him unhappy, so he cursed her. The sister became a demon. For every good thing that Morij Gamerti created, the demon created an evil thing to mar, oppose it. Woman too was a creation of the demon, as were the lesser demons Georgian Devi Devi see below, while man and the lesser gods were creations of Morij Gamerti. The lesser gods grew weary in their unceasing fight with the demons and fled to the upper world of Zeskneli, leaving behind them men. The men however lacked the power to resist the demons, so the lesser gods Georgian GHVTI's Shvilni, Gaivides Shvilni see below, hunted down the demons and drove them underground to the netherworld of Kvesknelli. The demons left behind them the women who, like them, were part of the evil creation. Men and women are thus only emanations of, or substitutes for, the gods above and the demons below, respectively. The same principle holds true for all created things. The entities and substances of the universe are divided into two antagonistic series, one wild and demonic, the other social and divine. The only entities or substances that are truly real are those of the upper world of Zeskneli and the lower world of Kvesknelli. The middle world inhabited by humans is thus only a place of passage, mediation and meeting and the beings who people it have no essence in themselves, being only emanations of the divine or subterranean worlds, or else their unions. This mountain Georgian creation myth recalls to some extent that of the Zoroastrians, in that it involves the marring of the good creation of a benign creator by an evil spirit compare Angra Mainu's attempts to mar the creation of Ahura Mazda, see Bundahishkin. It differs radically, however, in its attribution of gender to the principles of good and evil and still more distinctively in its vision of a primordial heavenly harmony of twin creative principles as a brother and sister couple disruption of which incestuous union sets in motion creation, with all its attendant woes. Cosmology <coughs> <coughs> In pre-Christian Georgian mythology, the universe is perceived as a sphere. It comprises three worlds or levels, known as Skaneli, Skaneli Zeskneli, Zeskneli the highest world, and the home of the gods. White is the color of Zeskneli. The earth, the middle world, home of mortals. 
Its center is divided into two regions, anterior Sina Samkaro, Sina Samkaro or Sinaskneli, Sinaskneli and posterior Ukana Samkaro, Ukana Samkaro or Ukana Skneli, Ukanaskneli beyond which the lands of earth are divided by seven or nine mountains or seas, which a hero can traverse only by first undergoing a spiritual transformation known as Gardatsvaliba, Gardatsvaliba which is also the word for death and seeking the help of magical animals, such as the Paskunji, the Rashi and others. Red is the color of this world. Kveskneli, Kveskneli the lowest world or underworld, inhabited by the ogres, serpents, and demons. Black is the color of Kveskneli. These three worlds are connected by a world tree growing on the edge of the universe or in other accounts a tower, chain, or pillar a common theme in the mythologies of many other cultures compare, for example, Yggdrasil, Agig Aero Fa and Iroko. Beyond them and the universe is Goreskneli, Goreskneli the world of oblivion, an endless void of darkness and eternity. There are also two bodies of water and two of fire, each element, having both a subterranean and a celestial form with unique influences upon human life. The moon considered a brother and the sun considered a sister traverse these two realms regularly, but in opposite directions. After Christianization, Zeskneli became associated with heaven, Kveskneli with hell, and spiritual travel between these worlds associated with death alone, to the exclusion of older, more shamanic conceptions of the otherworld journey. <laughs> Practices of shamanic type the mountain Georgian equivalent of the shaman is the kadagi, a person of either gender who has become permanently possessed by one of the class of minor i.e. local, specialized divinities known most often by the name of hat. I Topic. Single quote. Sign. But also by those of Jewer. Topic. Cross. And Samtu equals divinity single quote closing parenthesis dot the hat i numbered several hundred at the turn of the 19th century and the word hat i could designate not only a divinity of this class but also its manifestation as image object or real or imaginary animal and the place temple sanctuary where it was worshiped the Kadag would go into trance, both at religious rituals and at events important in individual or collective life, and his or her indwelling hat. I would foretell the future in a special secret or sacred language of the hat. I. See also spirit possession. A second type of practitioner of shamanic type exclusively female was the Meseltane, the word deriving from Georgian Suli. Soul. A Meseltane, usually a woman, although sometimes as young as a girl of nine, was a female who possessed the faculty of visiting the beyond in spirit. At certain times these females would plunge into a lethargy broken by mutterings, following which they would awaken and describe their journey, communicating the requests of the dead to particular individuals or to the community at large. From their ability to enter these trance states they would derive honors and prestige. Topic. List of supernatural beings from Georgian myth Topic. A list of such beings includes Topic. Gods Topic. Agilis Dita Agilis Dita a goddess of fertility and livestock revered by the inhabitants of the mountainous areas of northeastern Georgia such as Kevsareti as the patroness of certain places and of travelers. She is portrayed as a beautiful lady with silver jewelry. She later became associated with the Virgin Mary when the area was converted to Christianity. Her name means, Mother of Locality. Compare Genius Loci. Anina and Danina, Anina da Danina a pair of goddesses who are mentioned in the conversion of Kartli and the medieval Georgian chronicles. Apsat Apsati, a male god of birds and animals in Svan mythology. Armazi, Armazi chief of the gods, central figure in the official religion of Caucasian Iberia equals Kartli established by King Farnavas I of Iberia 4th century BC. According to the life of Saint Nino an immense statue of Armazi, along with images of other deities and the temple that housed them, was destroyed by a storm of giant hailstones raised by the prayers of Saint Nino. 
Armazi is also the name of an ancient fortress near Mts Kedah that dates from the same period. Various complementary strands of research suggest that the origins of this deity lie in a syncretism between conceptions of the Zoroastrian supreme being Ahura Mazda Armenian, Aramazd", and a native Georgian supreme lunar deity see also Tetri Georgi below, a regional variant of the Hittite moon god Arma. Barbale, Barbale the goddess of cattle and poultry fertility, the sun, women's fertility, and healing. Worshippers honor her in the Barbalasadmi festival with solar symbols, which occurs at the winter solstice. Her name is similar to the Sumerian and Akkadian epithet, Bibaru, which means, shining, splendor. Batanebi, Batanebi spirits of disease. Their name means, the masters. If anyone is infected by the Batanebi, their family will prepare special food and candies, and place presents under trees to appease the Batanebi. In rural areas of Georgia, Batanebi are used as a term to refer to infectious diseases. Beri Bera, Beri Bera an agricultural god of fertility, harvests, and animals who is worshipped in eastern Georgia. His festival is held at the end of the year. Bochi, Bochi thought to be the patron saint of cattle. The first written documentation of this deity comes from Eutymius of Athos. According to historian Ivan Javakishvili, the name, Bochi, is related to words for, male goat. Dali, Dali Svanishan, Dale, the goddess of the hunt. She was believed to have extraordinary beauty, with long golden hair and radiant white skin. She dwells high up in the mountains where she watches over and protects wild animals. She sometimes shares animals with hunters, as long as they respect her rules by not hunting more than their needed amounts or taking aim at animals that are her manifestations. In some myths, she will enter into a sexual relationship with a hunter, while warning him not to reveal their liaison upon pain of death by petrifaction compare Medusa along with his hounds, the fate also of those who break promises they have made her. Ochokochi, Ochokochi is so infatuated with her, that he is forever attempting to have sex with her, but the mortal hunters who visit her forests often thwart his attempts to catch her. She is the mother of the hero Amarin. In Samigrello, she is named as T. Kashi Mappa, the queen of the forest. Gatsi and Gaim, Gatsi da Gami gods in the official Iberian pantheon according to the medieval annals. Gamerti, Gamerti the supreme divinity and the head of the pantheon of gods. He is the all-powerful lord of the universe and its creator. He lives in the ninth sky, where he rules from a golden throne. His children include the moon as his son, the sun as his daughter, and the ghvti's shvilni who protect people against evil. He is also addressed as Morijgamerti, Morijgamerti, God the Director, and Dambadabeli, Dambadabeli, the Creator. His name is later used to refer to God the Father in Christian belief. Kamar, Kamari the daughter of the god of the sky. She is a symbol of divine fire. Her beautiful appearance caused Amarin to abduct her from heaven. Lamaria, also Lamara, Lamaria zero goddess of fertility, cattle, and the hearth. Mamar, Mamberi the lord of wolves, compare Ossetian tutor, see below under heading. Tevdor, who was worshipped in Svaneti and other mountainous regions. Michpa, Michpa the patron god of cattle and other domestic animals who was worshipped in Svaneti during winter. Mindort Batoni, Mindort Batoni the god of valleys, fields, and wild flowers. Humans have to ask his permission before exploring or attempting to cultivate the fruitful lands that make up his domain. His daughter, Mindort Birdzinabeli, is the beautiful goddess of flowers. Mindort Birdzinabeli, Mindort Birdzinabeli the goddess of flowers. She is the daughter of the god Mindort Batoni. She flutters over plants, feeding on their pollen. Oshopanter, Oshopanter a spirit of the forest and protector of wild animals. The first part of his name, Ocho, Ocho is connected to the ancient pagan god Bochi, the second part, Pinter, Pinter to the Greek god Pan. Born with the legs and horns of a goat, he assists the goddess Dali in herding the animals. Hunters usually made sacrifice in his name since no one could hunt the animals without his help. The fate of a person entering his forest was believed to be fully in his hands. Tamar, Tamari goddess, was called Eye of the Earth, and rode a serpent. Tetri Georgi, Tetri Georgi, White George, form of Saint George venerated in Kakheti, variously identified as a reflex of the ancient lunar god, and as a reflex of the ancient storm, weather god, Coppola. Tevdor, Tevdor god of agriculture and horses. 
After Christianization, he became associated with Saint Theodore. In feudal times the special festival of Todoroba was organized to honor him and ensure a bountiful harvest, compare Ossetian deity Tudor, Lord of the Wolves, likewise based on Saint Theodore. Skarishdita, Skarishdita a mermaid like goddess of rivers, lakes and fish, in Mingrelian folklore. She uses magic powers against humans. Zadan, Zadani god of fertility in the official pantheon established by Farnava's eye he was believed to be as powerful as Armazi. He was added into the official pantheon by Parnajam in the 2nd century BC, and had a statue of him erected at a fortress near Mount Zedazeni, near Mts Keta. His statue was said to have been destroyed with the statues of other gods through the prayers of Saint Nino. The worship of him declined after Christianization. Topic. Demigods, heroes, and notable people Topic. Amaran Amarani mythic hero and titan, son of Dali. Equivalent of the Greek Prometheus. Iakhsar Eoxari a mythic hero who aided Coppola in his adventures to slay demons and monsters, and was deified and venerated as a popular deity. Ghvti's Shvilni Gaivides Shvilni a group of demigods who protected humans, assured good crops and milk yields, fought against Devis and Kudiani witches. Amarin, Georgi, Iakhsar, and Coppola were among them, and they fought alongside Iakhsar and Coppola to drive out the Devis from the land, and to help Georgi to raid the impregnable fortress of the Kajis to plunder their treasures, cattle, and women. Coppola, Coppola a mythic hero, mighty warrior, and demon killer, also a lightning god. He and Iakhsar lead a campaign to drive underground the Devis who are persecuting humans in the Middle Realm. His weapons include a mace and an iron bow made for him by the blacksmith god Pirkusha, Pirkusha with whom compare Ossetian divine smith Kurtaligon and Circassian Teleps. He alone has the power to defeat the most stubborn demons, believed to seize a person's soul and cause madness, and, by this means, he cures those afflicted by insanity. Revered by the inhabitants of the mountainous areas of Kevsareti and Savi, compare Indra, Faradin, the Dagda and Thor. Kaviria, Kaviria a hero and a son of the gods who served as a mediator between Gamerti and humanity. He is invoked as the protector of human society and an instrument of divine justice. In some regions of Georgia, he was also believed to be a deity of fertility and the harvest, while in the mountains of western Georgia he was worshipped as the supreme deity. The festival of Kvaratskavloba was celebrated to honor him, as also martial Lang surmises were the erotic and orgiastic cults and festivals, such as the Barakoba and Merkwamoba, celebrated regularly until recent times among the Savs, Kevsors, Svans and other mountain Georgian tribes. The curious ithophallic figurines discovered by G.D. Filamenev at the settlement of Kazbek on the Georgian military highway may also Marshall Lang further surmises relate to erotic aspects of the cult of Kaviria. Such figurines have been the subject of much debate among archaeologists and anthropologists and examples continue to come to light in various parts of Georgia, as far east as central Kakisha, in association with finds of bronze daggers of specific Kakitian type dating to between the 13th and 8th centuries BCE. Some of these ithophallic figurines had been designed to be hung from drinking horns. Natsiliani Natsiliani humans who received magic gifts or divine signs Natsili, Natsili from the gods. Their signs are usually located on their shoulder blades and glow with magic light, empowering their bearers. These signs must be kept hidden, as their bearers will lose their powers if they reveal them. Certain signs can only be given by their respective gods. Topic. Spirits, creatures, and other beings topic. Ali, Ali A type of Lilith-like demon that afflicts pregnant women, the elderly, and infants who happen to stumble into remote woods, caves, and ruins. Alis can be male or female, the females being known as alkali. Male alleys generally appear monstrous, while female alleys can shift between tempting beauty and hag-like ugliness. Their name may be related to the word for flame. Ali. This supernatural being occurs not only in the folklore of the Caucasus, but also in the folk beliefs of Iran, Central Asia and Mongolia and conceptions of its appearance may derive from folk memories of relict hominins see also Almas cryptozoology. Devi, Devi many-headed ogres whose heads can regenerate if any of them are cut off compare Lernaean Hydra. 
These malevolent giants live in the underworld or in remote mountains, where they hoard treasure troves and keep their captives. In Georgian mythology, they live in a family, consisting usually of nine brothers. Bakbak Devi, Bakbak Devi was the strongest and the most powerful of the Devas. To defeat them, heroes would outwit them by means of various tricks and games. Their name a borrowing into the Kartvelian language family Georgian language from Indo-European is related to that of the divas of Zoroastrian and Persian mythology, derived in turn from Proto-Indo-European asterisk deiu, o acute, God. Dabilni translation. The ones who became sisters. Dabilni disease spreading spirits, appearing usually in the form of women, children or animals. Dabilni towers, Dabilt Kashki Dabilt Kashki were built in Kevsarian shrines to keep them at bay. Some Dabilni are benevolent, such as Princess Samjimar Samjimari of Kevsareti legend, who is invoked for an easy childbirth, the birth of healthy children, and women's health in general. Benevolent Dabilni were also invoked at certain shrines in order to bless cattle and also for the protection of travelers. Gavlashapi Gavlashapi evil serpents that ruled and lived in lakes, rivers, and water sources compare Naga. In folklore, they were associated with water-related disasters, and heroes fought against them, see also serpent symbolism. Kaji Kaji a race of spirits who are often portrayed as magic-wielding, demonic metal workers compare sons of Ivaldi. They lived in Kajeti, Kajeti and had magic powers that they used against humans. Land kajis were malevolent, while river and lake kajis were friendly to humans. Female kajis were beautiful, and they either seduced heroes or helped them in their quests. They appear prominently in Shota Rustavelli's Vepkast Kausani, Vepkast Kausani in which the kajis abduct Princess Nestan Darajan and fight the heroes at Kajeti Fortress, although Rustavelli euhemorizes them, portraying them, not as a race of supernatural beings, but a tribe of human wizards albeit wizards of awe-inspiring power. The Kajis also feature in The Snake Eater by another celebrated Georgian poet, Vaja Savela, in which they appear as the preparers of a stew of snake meat that confers occult wisdom on the hero, Mindia compare the white snake. Their name is related to the Armenian storm and wind spirits, the Kai Armenian, Kai K. A, plural, Kak K. Ak. Kudiani, Kudiani a type of hideous hunchbacked witch, having large teeth and a tail, from the latter of which her name is derived Kudi, Kudi tail. Kudianis can disguise themselves as humans in order to bewitch them. The leader of the Kudianis, Rakap, Rokapi often summons them to a special mountain compare Brocken, Lisa Gora, Lisa Hora Kiev, and Lisa Hora folklore, where they hold a festival similar to the European Walpurgis night. Matsol, Matsili evil spirits from the underworld that plagued travelers and hunters. Folk tales refer to Coppola's efforts to defeat them. Ocho Kochi, Ocho Kochi a forest being in Mingrelian folklore who comes into conflict with hunters. Instead of hair on his chest, he has a protuberance in the form of a pointed bone or a stone axe, which he uses to kill passers-by by embracing them. He often chases T. Kashi Mappa, the beautiful queen of the forest, out of lust, but his uncouth advances are just as often thwarted by mortal hunters with the worthiest of whom she prefers, on occasion, to mate. Paskunji, Paskunji a phoenix-like being who helps heroes and humans. He lives in the underworld, and fights the serpents there. Heroes summoned him by burning one of his feathers, and he could transport them to other places and heal wounds and illnesses. In certain other myths, by contrast, Paskunjis are portrayed as being hostile to humans and to have persecuted them. Kyorsha Kursha a legendary hunting dog associated with various mythological figures including Dali and Amirani. Rashi Rashi a magical winged horse compare Pegasus, Barak, Tulpar, Chalima and Rash. There are three types of Rashis. Land Rashis are well disposed to heroes and humans and could perceive the future. Sea Rashis are more hostile, but can take humans to the bottom of the sea, while their milk was believed to cure many illnesses, and heavenly Rashis have wings and can breathe fire, and are difficult to subdue yet loyal to their owners. Korkik Chalali, a similar magical, fiery, winged horse plays a large part as the wise and faithful steed of successive generations of heroes in the Armenian epic poem Daredevils of Sassoon. Like the sea Rashis, Korkik Chalali is first encountered underwater, in this instance at the bottom of an enchanted lake. Rakap Rokapi an evil spirit, leader of the Kudiani witches. Gamerti punished him by chaining him to a column under the earth, where he devours human hearts brought to him by the Kudiani. 
Every year, he tries to free himself, but he always fails. See also Topic. Armenian mythology Greek mythology Ossetian mythology Slavic mythology Persian mythology Vinic mythology Azerbaijani folklore Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Georgia, past, present, future